In the category uh, Occupational Health and Safety, please welcome on the stage Jace Naidu. Occupational Health and Safety the participation in local and external initiatives or work groups which have a significant impact on the health and safety of individuals or groups and that enhance ESCOM as a business. The second runner-up in the occupational health and safety category is Ralph Duplessis and team. The nominee has initiated a contractor SHE management strategy that ensures that there are specific and appropriate objectives and milestones identified for both the divisional office and each project site to ensure mitigation strategies for the challenges that ED faces, specifically with regard to contractor SHE management. She ensures that this planning is done annually with sufficient consultation from all key persons taking into account past and current performance trends, lessons learned, challenges at project level and best practice. The complexity of many of the challenges often requires innovation and lateral thought, as well as contextualization of the challenges and an understanding of the business before embarking on identifying solutions. She ensures a safe and healthy working environment for more than 25,000 contractors. It gives me pleasure to invite Kajal Mansing as a first runner-up in the Occupational Health and Safety category. The team conduct risk assessment workshops and encourage consultation with site supervisors to enhance health and safety. Along with Viscous Corporation, the team is involved in the introduction of horizontal fail arresters for 765 kilovolt towers to prevent injuries and fatalities. In their management of contractors and subcontractors, the team has demonstrated outstanding leadership, persuading contractors to introduce picture-based risk training. The team has contributed to the development of management systems and the training and implementation of behavior-based systems, SMAT, using real-time data to do trend analysis and inform key areas. They have driven health and safety to a point where the LTIR had improved from 0.61 to 0.24 by the end of the 2009-2010 financial year. To date, the team has achieved 3.8 million man hours without a lost time injury. It's indeed my privilege and pleasure to announce the winners of the Occupation Health and Safety category. It's Aline Makofela, Yandila Glada, and Zolo Shlishwayo.